Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we have another empties video. This is actually quite soon. When did I post my last one? Where's my phone? So my last empties video uh, was it recently? Do you guys remember? Oh no, it was one month ago. Would you look at that? Okay. Maybe I just don't do it monthly usually. Usually I take a little longer, I think. Yeah, the time before that was three months ago. Okay, so I just don't usually do this every month, but I think every month will be a little easier for me if I keep using up products this fast. Um, also, it kind of overlaps in my brain with um, my Project Use It Up. If you don't watch that, um, it's a great one. I'm doing good. It's a body mist and perfume uh, Project Use It Up, and I won't have that forever because... You guys, I'm using up so much stuff that soon I won't need a project use it up anymore for my body mists. Like, I will be pretty much down to just a few. And then just will be adding new ones to my collection and using them right away and cycling like normal. And I won't just have crazy amount, like a crazy collection anymore. So we're almost there, you guys. We're almost on that journey. And don't worry, there is a video coming about using up your products. Um, soon. It's just one of those videos that does take a little bit of more work and a little more prep. Um, so it's coming. It's coming, I promise. Um, but yeah, uh, this will have overlap. Obviously, if you watch my um, Project Use It Up, there's some things that I used up in those that you saw that I used up, but I haven't had an empties video yet, so those things are here. There's also sneak peeks to a future um, update on my Project Pan, which I just posted like a week ago, a week and a little bit ago. Um, so there's sneak peeks of stuff that I've already used up from that project pan that I'll feature obviously in my update as well as this video. So there's a little overlap, um, but hopefully you like hearing me talk nonsense and that's why you're here. So what's a little overlap, you know? So basically I have one, two, three, four, five, six body mists in here, which is awesome. I have two perfumes in here, which is awesome. Um, and I also decluttered a few hygiene products. Um, a big thing for me is if you're not, Fully enjoying something, um, it's not a waste of money to get rid of it because it's a waste of money using something that you aren't enjoying while something that you do enjoy stays in the back and goes bad. That's a waste of money. So therefore, I don't consider decluttering really a waste of money, especially if you can re-gift. If you can't, oh well. But anyway, let's Let's jump right in. Let's talk about a few body scrubs that I used up um, last month. So I did use up Victoria's Secret Cucumber and Green Tea Refresh. As you guys know, if you watched my favorite hygiene products of all time video, which is also a recent video, definitely check that out if you haven't watched it, um, because I talk about my favorite scrubs of all time, which, spoiler alert, um, are the Dove polishes and the Tree Hut scrubs. I'm yet to find something that I love too much more. There's one expensive one that I really wanna try, that one. Um, if you've tried it, let me know if it's good. Um, I picked up just some other ones. I think I had a gift card, so I picked up some Victoria's Secret scrubs. I had the cucumber and green tea. Love the scent of this. Um, I think I like the formula as well. It was all right. I still like my other ones better. If I want a lighter exfoliation, the Dove ones are next level. If I want something heavier, I definitely use Tree Hut, so it was okay, but I don't think, um, unless they're on sale, there's no reason to really buy these to be honest with you. The other one I had is Tease Sugar Flare. If, uh, Flare? Flare? Uh, if you guys know the scent, it came out more recently. Um, I guess it's not even that recent anymore, but it kind of was this sugary, I don't know. Uh, the perfume itself on initial spray, I really like. It's so sweet and girly, but it gives me off like, like a little bit of plastic vibes, um, which isn't my favorite. So the perfume I skipped on, um, but this was really delicious. Um, it's just one of those formulas that, again, a lot of scrubs do this. Once they get wet, it's kind of like game over. Tree Hut works really well. Dove works really well. All the other ones, I feel like I don't tr I don't keep them in my shower. I keep them like under the sink where they hopefully don't get as warm and mushy, but um, yeah, a little bit of water and they're basically unusable. Also, I've noticed that maybe not wetting your body right away, going into the scrub first to make sure it exfoliates before you add water can help. But if I have, you know, scrubs that I know work really well, then 
It's like, why put in the extra effort? But that is a way to make other scrubs work. But this was, the scent-wise, amazing. And it's kind of luxurious to use a Victoria's Secret scrub like this that smells like a perfume. And the last scrub I used up was this one. I hauled this not too long ago in a hygiene haul. This is Body Prescriptions Rose and Mint Exploding Body Scrub. This um, smell, not my favorite. Even in my haul, I said it wasn't my favorite. Why did I buy it? Because of the packaging, and honestly, it's not one of those things that I'm not going to use. Obviously, I used it up, um, and I have mixed feelings. Okay, so this is Rose and Mint, I think. So the smell, it's whatever. It was a clean smell, a little rose mint. It kind of just smelled like a bar soap, um, like a, I don't know, like an older woman's bathroom bar soap something like that I just say that I know it's not like everyone's favorite thing to say like a mature smell I guess but um because scent is so particular to the person but when I say that I know people are gonna know what I mean so that is what I'm using to describe it packaging wise gorgeous though um formula wise these are from TJ Maxx TJ Maxx scrubs are usually really cute um functionality not always there um this was really oily which I actually really liked it was like super moisturizing it did sting a little I'm guessing I had some kind of cuts or abrasions on me that made it sting, but kind of strange that it did sting a little bit. I think it's because of how oily it was. Again, love the oily part, but this is one of those that you add water and it's kind of game over. Um, but the oily part was super moisturizing, so I do need to find a scrub that's oily like that. Or just use like an oil in the shower and hope I don't slip and hurt myself, but yeah. For the oily part, nice. Otherwise, no recommend. I used up two shower gels. I used this Method Body Berry Balance. Um, I like this. This was very nice. Um, was it like super incredibly amazing? Not really. It kind of smells like berry yogurt maybe. Um, I don't know. It was a nice smell. I enjoyed using it. I wouldn't say it's extraordinary. I really like the Dove and the Olay body washes. So drugstore wise, I'll probably stick with those. This I absolutely adored. I love using this without a loofah. Um, just because it feels like you're putting lotion on your skin and just feels very like, I don't know, luxurious. By the way, this is the Bath & Body Works. This is Sunshine Mimosa, the moisturizing body wash. I will get their body washes in any scent because the scent doesn't really matter that much. They all smell kind of good. Um, I like this in this form better than the body mist for sure. Um, cause this has like a champagne note and usually in body mist, champagne notes aren't my favorite, but in a body wash, it was amazing. I love the moisturizing body washes. I don't buy the gels anymore. I have a couple left over. You guys, I have one shower gel on my shower right now and one on my shelf right here. And that's it. I have some back in, um, at my mom's house that I might fly here at some point if they're not expired by now. Um, but besides that, I used up all my shower gels without buying any more. So now if a semi-annual sale hits and there's moisturizing body washes, it's game over. It's game over. Also, I can't wait to repurchase some of the ones that I've fallen in love with from using up my collection. Like there's this one Dove one. I'll put it up. Oh, so good. Bye air, you guys. I used up two lotions. Um, I have this well, body cream lotion, same thing, moisturizers. Um, Fiji Sunshine Guavatini from Bath & Body Works. Always cut these open, use it up. This is your tropical guava touch of sunscreen deliciousness. Um, I love this scent, especially in a lotion. I got so many compliments on this. People love this like tropical vibe. So I'm glad I used it up. But yeah, um, big fan of this. Probably eventually if it comes out again in the summer and it's um, cheap, I will potentially repurchase. But I'm again, not one of those people that I see this in like every video. I'm not one of those people that falls in love with the scent and then needs another one, needs another one. Like there will be other ones that are similar that I get to try out. So I'm excited for future ones that might smell similar or repackages. I don't need the same exact scent again, unless it's like one of those extraordinary ones that I cannot live without, which there are none like that because I will survive, but I'll hurt. I'll hurt. Next, you guys, I finished up this um, Tree Hut Watermelon Body Butter. I love their body butters. They're so whipped to perfection. They're still kind of light. They're not too thick and yet they're moisturizing and they make you glow. I am obsessed with the Tree Hut um, body butters. I have so many of them in my Ulta cart. I try not to buy things, so what I'll do is I'll just keep them in my cart forever and then it feels like, okay, they're safe, they're there, I will eventually buy them and then I don't buy them because I have, again, moisturizers that I'm working through 
when I use up all my moisturizers, I will buy them 100% because this is one of my favorite formulas. That's a good thing about using up all my products is I know which formulas I want to repurchase, uh, which is why I think um, you should watch my hygiene favorites video. Self-promo. Anyway, I also finished this Hemp's Hemp's, another one of my favorite brands, um, their Shave Gel. This is the White Peach, Rosé, and Peony. Um, this was really nice. I really liked this. I still think I would repurchase the Tree Hut Shave Oils over this. I think mainly because the pump is easier. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. Um, it's just, you know, if it, this is cheaper at any point, I will probably repurchase it because why not? But I think the Tree Hut oils are where it's at for me for now, unless you have a better shave oil suggestion, which I'm all yours. I finished a TheraBreath mouthwash. You guys see this in every empties video. This is my favorite oral rinse um, that I use in the morning for... Um, fresh breath. I use uh, like a whitening or like a cavity one at night and then I will use this for fresh breath in the morning. Also, if you do use this at night, um, you usually don't wake up with as bad as of morning breath. So these are great. I always have them. I used up this CeraVe hydrating uh, facial cleanser. I go through so many different cleansers. I have high-end ones that I really like. I like the fresh one. The fresh um, soy cleanser is my favorite, um, but I really liked this a lot. So sometimes when I I'm tired of buying the expensive ones. Um, I'll randomly purchase one of these, use it for a month or two, and then go back to my expensive one. Right now I'm using a random one that I don't even know where I got. Um, but that's my last one. After that, I do want to try the Tatcha one. Curious about that one, um, but sometimes less is more. So I will potentially repurchase this again because I know it works well for me. This is the hydrating one. Um, we'll see. I also finished some masks. I have the Kebela. I don't know how to say it. Kebela? I don't know. Bella. Um, this uh, strawberry peel-off mask, I have the pink deep, deep cleansing one, and then I have the aloe vera one. I don't usually buy peel-off masks because these were a gift, and I really, really liked them. It was so fun to have like a little spa moment. Um, and yeah, I probably will purchase one of these at some point. They were all actually kind of nice. And I also finished this from The Ordinary. This was the the peeling solution, uh, the stuff that makes your face red. Um, I had this for so long and I cannot believe I finally used this up. I really have to focus on products, um, otherwise they don't get used up. And I focused and I used it up. Um, I use a mask at a time, one mask at a time right now, so. Yeah, um, uh, this was nice. I like this product from The Ordinary. I could potentially purchase it again, um, but I have other masks that I um, need to try and go through, so I'm not concerned about it now. But yeah, I really liked this. It's just careful if you have sensitive skin. I used up this PFB Chroma Bright Vanish Roll-On. This is for ingrown hairs and dark spots. I like this. I think I like 10 skin better. Um, but I think this does do stuff for for dark dark uh, spots. I just recently purchased this guy from Topicals. It looks like this. I got it at Sephora. I've heard good things about that. This is actually from a recommendation from oh one of my favorite YouTubers to watch. I forgot her name. Ah. Um. But yeah, I'm trying that out. But use this guy up. I also, another thing that I have an abundance of is hair products that I never get through, so I've been focusing on one thing at a time. I finished this Bed Ahead After Party stuff. Uh, this is really nice for smoothing your hair. Um, could repurchase it one day eventually, but not in a rush, because again, I have so many hair products, so don't need it. I also focus on one foundation at a time, and I fin finished this Peach Perfect one in vanilla. Um, does this exist anymore? They discontinued this, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm sure you could still get it somewhere, but I used this up. I also had to declutter a bunch of my foundations um, because... I'm not even going to show you, but I decluttered, um, I have them like right here, uh, a bunch of foundations and a bunch of lip products. Uh, foundations because they were too light on me. Um, I've been getting sun here, so um, all my foundations are pretty much too light on me. I have this like really dark foundation that I thought was really dark, um, and then I just used it recently, and it's actually kind of light on me now, so... Um, it's time for some new foundations, so I don't know. I used to collect foundations like crazy, but I'm still keeping them. I'm adding bronzer, making them work, but um, some of my decluttered and a bunch of lip products, some that smelled a little off, some that I just don't use. Um, the more overwhelmed I am with the colors and products, the less I use lip products. So if I only have a smaller curated collection, I'll use them more. That's how it works. You enjoy products more when you have less, which is why um, I'm working so hard on using as much up as I can. But yeah, finish that guy up. Um, 
and this black tea um, eye cream. One of my favorite eye creams I've ever tried. Again, I love fresh. Uh, currently, I am using this guy. Um, it's expensive as heck. I bought it on Mercari um, to get it for a little cheaper, and I'm trying that out now um, to see which one I like better, but I'll be repurchasing either one or the other um, long term because for once, I actually like eye creams. Do I see a huge difference? No. I never do with eye creams. I have hereditary dark circles, so it's almost impossible for me to see a difference. But I do feel like since I finished this and started using the other one, both eye creams, um, I do feel like my under eyes are a little less dry, which is a huge thing for me because I do have lines and concealer that I love to use because of my horrible dark circles that never get covered no matter what concealer I use. <sighs> the no makeup makeup look will never look um, great on me. But anyway, it, point is, um, it cakes really badly. So the more moisturized my eyes are, the better. And that stuff has been helping. So I'll repurchase it. I will randomly mention I'm decluttering. This has barely anything left, but the sugar goop, um, it also rubbed off the writing. Uh, their, um, SPF, this stuff breaks me out like crazy. People say that this is like the only sunscreen that doesn't break them out. It breaks me out like crazy. I am getting rid of it. I just recently purchased this guy. I've heard amazing things about it. So we're gonna try this guy out, um, see if it works. If you have any good facial moisturizers that don't break you out, let me know. Um, I'm also decluttering three native deodorants, uh, fresh mistletoe, candy cane, and um, grapefruit and bergamot. So this one's just really old. Um, candy cane, um, gives my armpits a bad reaction sometimes. Some native deodorants give me a bad reaction. Sometimes it's if I use it multiple days in a row, and sometimes it's just if I use it once. It's really confusing, and it just happens with native deodorants. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I still have one that I use. These are just all pretty old, so I decided that maybe since one is already giving me a reaction, I should just get rid of them and stop buying a bunch of them. Um, I like native deodorants, but they're not like my all-time favorite. I only use them when I don't have to fully trust them, basically. Um, so I might repurchase more, just to have one at a time here and there for those days that I'm just going somewhere for a little bit and want to smell really fun. Also, they have really fun gourmand scents that really work. Some work better than others. Like, there was a cookie one that I trusted with my life. It was really good. Um, I used that one up, but yeah, decluttering these three just in case, because I don't want reaction. All right, so the six body mists, let's start with the minis. Um... This was in my empty, or I'm sorry, my uh, project pan. This is strawberry pound cake in a mini. Use this guy up. Um, I already showed this in my video, um, but wanted to show you guys as well. I like strawberry pound cake. I prefer cookie gourmand scents, not fruity ones, which is weird because I love my fruity fresh scents, but yeah. Won't be repurchasing strawberry pound cake anytime soon, but obviously it's a good scent. I also showed this, Golden Mango Lagoon. Um, this is newer, but I finished it. A basic mango scent. I wouldn't say I need it in my life. It dissipated very quickly, um, but it was nice to try out in a mini. I think all new scents should always be in minis. And then White Coconut Caramel, one of my all-time favorites. If this ever comes out again and is super cheap, I am buying it. I love this one, one of my favorite gourmand scents of all time, especially to use at night. And this again I showed in my project uh, pan. Uh, Bubblegum Pop, use this guy up. This was Gumball Sugar, Candied Fruit, Citrus Burst. I talk more about these in my project pan, so I don't want to get too into it, but girly scent, super delicious, glad I used it up. These are a bit of a spoiler. Um, I used up Jasmine Rainfall. Um, this is newer to my collection. Such a pretty jasmine, like, watery aquatic scent. Um, I'm finding I really like jasmine scents lately um, because of how refreshing they are. And I also finished Jasmine and Elderberry. This is Bliss Out with the scent of Jasmine Elderberry, Botanical, whatever. Uh, point is, um, this was a very pretty, um, kind of fresh out of the shower, uh, fruity floral scent. Um, I really, really liked it. So yeah, these are both empty, but I'm keeping them around to um, show and replace for my project pan. The two perfumes I used up, one of them I showed in my project pan. This is Escada Sorbeto Rosso. Such a pretty kind of really fresh aquatic watermelon scent, super sweet and delicious. I got compliments on this. I will 100% repurchase another Escada perfume um, at some point when I go through my collection, but loved this one. And one that is a little bit of a spoiler that I'm keeping around to show for my project pan is I finished um, DKNY's Be Delicious. I got so many compliments on this, you guys. So many people said, said I smell good, that I smell clean. Someone was like, oh, with the wind blowing, like I smell your shampoo or whatever you used to shower, like it smells good. I was like, like, 
like clean and they're like yeah that's a perfect way to describe it clean and I'm like I love that I love a little wind where they can just smell me and think that I just showered and like washed my hair I hadn't washed my hair at all so I was like super but yeah um I oversprayed this to make it last longer but I don't know be delicious got me compliments guys I love it all right you guys those are all my empties hope you enjoyed the video and stick around for the next one and I will see you later Bye, guys.